Are you suddenly finding yourself with a creative itch to make cool video content and share it with the world? Or maybe this is something you've wanted to do for a while, but didn't know how to pick the hardware or software. Not to worry, budding video editing aficionados, we've got you covered. This is DIY in 5. Hello everyone, Trisha Hirschberger here, and you are watching DIY in 5, the show where we take complex tech topics and format them in easily digestible bites so that you feel ready to dive right in, no matter your skill level. Today, we're going to discuss software and hardware recommendations for new video editors. If you find the information in this video helpful, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring that bell so that you don't miss out on any future tech tips. Let's start with editing software. DaVinci Resolve is one you may not have heard of, but it's a great jumping off point for many starting editors because it's totally free to mess around with, yet still offers more than basic editing functionality. Color correction, visual effects, motion graphics, and even audio post-production are all available at the free level. The pro version, DaVinci Resolve Studio, includes everything in the free version, plus 3D tools, extra FX filters, advanced HDR grading, and more. And if you need even more functionality than that, you'll be happy to know that DaVinci Resolve works with third-party plugins as well, including OpenFX and VST plugin, third-party title and motion graphics templates, and more. In addition to being free, DaVinci Resolve is compatible with a variety of file formats and resolutions, so you can move files to other commonly used software with ease, regardless of platform. This is incredibly helpful if you work on both Mac and PC. And speaking of Mac and PC, DaVinci Resolve is platform agnostic, requiring Windows 8.1 or later and Mac OS X Yosemite 10.10.5 or later, respectively. And unlike many of the other programs we'll discuss in this video, DaVinci Resolve relies more heavily on the GPU than CPU, so you'll want to make sure you are spec'd out appropriately. We'll get into hardware specifics later too. Hang tight. Another popular free editing software is HitFilm Express. It works with both Mac and PC, and it's great for beginners with color-coded tracks and a customizable workspace. It also includes unlimited audio and video tracks, a built-in audio mixer, and professional effects and features. HitFilm does offer advanced packages for more advanced users if you want things like color grading, chroma key, etc. And there's plenty of free YouTube training available. Another editing software you may want to consider is Movavi, again compatible with both Mac and PC and available in two versions, Movavi Video Editor and Movavi Video Editor Plus. Neither are free, but there is a seven day free trial with a watermark on the videos. Womp womp. But for a one-time payment of around $40 to $60, depending which version you want, you get a lifetime license for one device. The reason Movavi is so popular with beginners is because it's easy to use with basic features like crop, rotation, zoom, trimming, deshake, transitions, filters, effects, and so on. And if you spring for the Plus version, you'll also have access to slow motion, reverse, animation, timeline markers, background changes, and tons of other special effects. Which software you decide to go with will ultimately come down to personal preference, system compatibility, desired features, and what hardware you'll have access to. With hardware in mind, let's discuss some of the basic hardware requirements you'll need to get started editing, as well as more specific requirements for each of the software options we've already discussed. Regardless of software, if you'll be working with projects ranging from 1080p to 4K, you'll want at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. If you plan on working with lots of higher resolution footage while also running background projects, you will probably want to upgrade that to 32 gigabytes of RAM or higher. Out of the software options discussed in this video, DaVinci Resolve will require the most RAM, recommending 16 gigabytes for basic HD editing and 32 gigabytes or more for 4K. The other options are much less RAM intensive, with HitFilm Express requiring at least four gigabytes but recommending eight gigabytes or more, and Movavi only requiring 256 megabytes of RAM at minimum. Storage is going to be another hardware consideration for any editor. After all, high-res video files take up a lot of storage space, and especially working with multiple large files at a time, say for multicam editing, the speed of an SSD would really come in handy. 
SSD storage is around four times faster in transfer rate than a traditional HDD hard drive, and NVMe SSD is almost 10 times faster. Having SSD speed will also speed up the video rendering process. Now, if you decide to go with DaVinci Resolve, know that it takes up a lot of space on your hard drive, about two gigabytes for the app and much more for render files. So prepare for that. But it also works with external storage options ranging from direct attached hard drives to NAS and SAN systems, so you have options. After RAM and storage considerations, then you'll want to take a look at other components. As I mentioned earlier, DaVinci Resolve relies heavily on the GPU for rendering. You'll want a dedicated GPU with at least four gigabytes of GPU memory, more if you plan to use a lot of plugins. The other software options we discussed today are much less GPU intensive, with HitFilm even able to run off integrated graphics if need be. As far as CPU goes, DaVinci again has the biggest needs here, requiring a CPU like an Intel Core i7 or AMD Ryzen 7, while HitFilm Express requires only a 4th gen Intel Core or AMD equivalent, and Movavi only requiring an Intel, AMD, or compatible CPU at 1 GHz or newer. Phew! This is a lot, and I could go on and on. If there's other editing programs you'd like to see discussed in more detail in a future video, please let us know in the comments, and we'll do our best here at Kingston to oblige. If you need recommendations on a video editing PC build, be sure to watch our other videos here. Also, if you need to upgrade or invest in some more RAM or storage, wink wink, you know where to find us. I mean, it's Kingston, that's what we do. All right, happy editing everyone, and we'll see you soon with more DIY in 5.